Hello friends. In my last session we discussed about unit selection as well as set configuration parameters. In this session we will discuss about seismic parameters and wind parameters as well as heading. So we will go to home. Here there are some sub tabs you can see and we will tick the last one that is heading. Heading is a description we should provide about the product. So here I will put XYZ company. Second line I can put the product storage tank. I can put it is horizontal. Line 3 we can put the drawing number. From where we designed it. So there is a reference drawing for us or we can we have to make a drawing after the design so we put that drawing number. We can put all the details in, in a separate page the title page also in the same way company name product description project number and drawing number so we'll put it ok again check it was ok yeah so we'll put it ok ok next we'll go to the next tab that is seismic we'll go from right to left so in the seismic data there is a drop down menu you can select any design code as per the specification so here I will select IS1893 so percentage of seismic for hydro test I will take 33 percent you can take any values as per your factor of safety you can take it is 30 percent you can take it is 20 percent if your weight is more accurate you can take less margin safety factor importance factor is 1.5 soil factor 1 zone factor 1 and use alpha is optional so we'll put it 0 we'll go to the next wind here also there is a drop down menu we'll check it is IS875 percent is percent wind for hydro is 33 basic wind data will change it 160 km per hour this value I am just putting as per some specification it is normally you have to put as per the specification only you should not put it as your wish so don't just remember this point here elevation if it is a ground floor then I will put 0 0 if it is some 18 meter so in I consider my tank I is at 18 meter height so I'll put 1800 mm. Wind zone is one. Risk factor is 1.08. All the values you have to take from specification and the code. You should not take your own. Category I'll put three. C. Topography factor I'll put one. And then again, I'll will not uh, be operating will not put anything in this then we'll go loading load cases in the load cases there are default cases are given so we'll not change it until unless customer specified anything about that so in if customer specified that they, they have a consideration about dead load live load wind load and you can say seismic load there is a combination they provide and they can take any other uh, thermal load or uh, something more than that then we have to edit it and we have to put that load conditions otherwise we will keep this default condition as it is then we will go to the design 
data in my next session we'll discuss describe about this design data we'll take a, con a process data sheet and we'll put the design data thank you